Welcome to Discover Talent Presents. In this series, we will be covering topic called Sprint Burndown Chart. Right? How to create that? And this particular template will help you for documenting the project related activities. Right? So this is how it looks like, and we have created by our own. You can also customize this based your requirement, and you know you can definitely use this. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, before we you know start with this entire series, just wanted to keep the expectation set. This entire series would be a beginner scale. If in case uh, you are already proficient in the MS Excel, please bear with me, because I have to ensure that you know entire population. Who are oh, viewers over here? Considering that you know they are novice in the MS Excel, so I'll start with the beginner scale. Okay, so let's start it. Uh, we need to first click on this option called Start, and then Excel. Okay, as soon as you hit a button called Excel application, this blank workbook will open, and, and we get this pop up. Okay, this is the blank workbook. We just need to click on this blank workbook. As soon as we hit blank workbook, it looks like this. Okay, this is the Office 365. Okay, uh, if in case you are working any other MS Excel spreadsheet, look would be a different. But uh, like you know, I have just hide this option. Let me just pin this. In Office 365, this ribbon are visually appealing like this. If in case you are using 2019 or maybe something else, right? Uh, the version would be differ, but the the major intent creating this sprint burn down chart is, you know, simple, and we can definitely uh, use this with the help of the simple methods. So without further ado, let's quickly start. Here, what I will be doing, I'll just add a calendar days first over here. Calendar. Days for me, and then I'll say one one thousand twenty three. Cool. And what I will be doing is equal to click here plus one. Cool. So this is how I'm just plotting the data over here. So let me just drag this. Uh, but I instead all together. So this is what I have plotted a days over here. And let me just see after pressing control one, we can change the formatting of this to correct. So I just say month or day dash month. Cool. And then OK. So now I have this details available with me. Now I want a planned hours. Okay, so what type of planned hours we have shared with the respective stakeholder? Those hours, okay, and the actual hours which we are getting it. So for now, uh, what I will be doing? Okay, I'll just take this number as a random. So that's what on a random between I'll keep this number me 22 90 maybe I'll keep it a 50 it's taking a random number so I think it's taking more than the digit which we requested right so let me just keep this uh, 40 Cool. So as soon as I hit a enter, this is how it looks like and say control T. You can do in a similar fashion for here as well to save our time basically, right? If we go manually and type it, it will take a time consuming for us. I'll just make it a simple in values. Okay, so now I have this data set available, which is uh, again dummy data. Cool. This is the dummy data I have. Now I'll just simply click on this option center alignment and here middle align. This is centrally aligned. So so far what we have did we just open the MS Excel workbook. Okay. We added this uh, headers. We have added this header 
and then what we have did we have added these dates and we change the formatting of this okay by pressing key control one correct or maybe you can what you can do is click on this option the option called font over here and then click on number you can just simply see this option over here right we did this and then we add this uh, formula called rand between rand between this formula we used and uh, basis the r's what we needed we just applied over here simple let me just pin this once again cool this is what we followed the simple steps so far correct now we want to plot this data in a chart in such a beautiful way where you know we can see this visually appealing okay so for that what you need to do simply first select this entire stuff click on this option recommended chart okay as soon as I hit a button called recommended chart this will give me the ample amount of options which we can select it correct but for now we just need a comparison so that's the reason I'll select this my line chart or otherwise if you don't want to go with the recommended chart you can simply click on this option and click 2d line similar way you can do from this side or maybe that side it's completely fine output would be the same now this is the uh, chart which we have available right now now what we will call this as a burn down chart simply estimated hours which is your plant hours okay and uh, versus your actual hours simple estimated or maybe we will say as a plant hours now this is what as soon as you hit a chart button this this particular chart will be uh, open and you can see this visually uh, difference added over here now you can change this formatting as well right click and then just change the color which is this was the plant so I'll say as a amber and for this right click this is my green which is this is my actual right I just place the right click button this is my actual simply I'll just keep this aside now I want a total so I'll just select this is equal to sign and sum okay sum is the formula which gives us an a total of the value so I'll just drag this I get this total as well cool and uh, for this what I will say it's total so I just type as a total and uh, you can just simply select this click on control T button control T so, okay so this automatically your table will get converted into the table cool and then this click on this last column which is this actual hours on and the total row which is this I'll remove this because I got the total so I'll just remove that part and this total I received it again I'll select, select this entire stuff arrange it middle simply I'll just type a sum over here we have this multiple options available sum select this again sum this will automatically select this entire stuff instead of you know adding this uh, formula which was we were doing earlier it's automatically get this details cool so this is what we have did so far and so after adding this uh, entire stuff you know you can just add this total difference over here is equal to this total actual minus this and here you can just simply type clicking on this wrap text option up 
and down hours which is over and uh, under hours which we have expected and this is the central alignment border and the bold so this is how you created your own customize sprint burn down chart template cool so this particular template will really help you for a business kind of a documentation for process related activities you know you can definitely use this I hope you found this useful folks so please hit the subscribe button and thanks for watching.